Hi, I'm Dan Duthie with Bremer Bank. From overseeing their herd to managing the milking process and production, dairy farmers have a lot of priorities to juggle. Paying attention to a few key metrics will help ensure your operation is efficient and profitable. When working with producers, we focus on five metrics. Debt service coverage ratio, current working capital position, interest expense ratio, net profit per cow, and finally, cost of production per hundredweight or CWT. These metrics are especially important if you're looking to obtain additional credit or take out a loan. Your bank will use these metrics to determine if your operation is efficiently run and profitable with healthy debt levels. The first metric we'll talk about is debt service coverage ratio, or DSCR. This helps determine if an operation can pay their current debts and measures how much of their income is available to service said debt. A debt service coverage ratio of 1.25 or above is considered good. This means that the operation is profitable and not overloaded by debt. Looking to apply for additional line of credit or loans, your debt service coverage ratio is a key metric. Calculating your debt service coverage ratio is relatively simple. Start by adding your net farm income to your non-farm income and your term interest expense plus your depreciation expense. Then subtract your income tax expense, owner's withdrawal or dividends, and non-farm expenses. From the remainder, divide by the sum of your term interest expense plus your term principal payments. The number left over is your debt service coverage ratio. Your working capital position is another important financial metric to pay attention to. This ensures your operation can pay for upcoming obligations and that assets can be turned over into cash when needed. A working capital position of 1.5 or greater is considered strong. Working capital position is the ratio of your operation's current assets like cash, feed or crop inventory, prepaid expenses, divided by your current liabilities like accounts payable, taxes, accrued interest, and your current portion of term debt. A strong working capital position will help you survive challenges from market volatility to disease outbreak. Having cash reserves will also allow you to quickly respond to opportunities such as purchasing good buys on feed, fertilizer, or other operating expenses. It can even help you update or upgrade equipment without the need for borrowed financing. Interest expense ratio is the third indicator of your operation's financial health and efficiency. It looks at how much of your income is being spent on loan interest. Here's how to calculate it. Simply divide the interest you pay on all loans for one fiscal year by your earnings before interest, income, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. This is also referred to as EBITDA, or earnings before interest, income taxes, depreciation, and amortization. For your operation to be considered strong, we're looking for no more than 6% of your annual income used to pay interest. More than 10% means you're spending too much money on interest. Cows are your key commodity and how you make money. Managing them well is key to every successful operation. To determine your herd profitability, use net profit per cow. A good ballpark figure is around $375. It's easy to calculate. Take the net profit from your operation on an accrual basis and divide by the number of cows in the herd. Your profit per cow should be high enough that you and your family can be financially secure and you can set aside money to invest in your operation while weathering market changes.
Any financial metric is useless without context. That's why we look at whole farm cost of production. Your whole farm cost of production takes into consideration five factors. Feed, labor, equipment depreciation, herd replacement cost, and overhead costs. This metric takes the sum of those expenses divided by the hundred weights, or CWT, sold to yield. Farmers looking to improve their profitability will often look to lower their cost of producing a hundred weight of milk. When working with producers, we aim to have a cost per hunter weight of $16.50 or less for energy corrected milk. It's important not to get bogged down in the numbers. Maintaining accurate records and working with your banker to make these calculations are two proactive measures you can take. But don't stop there. You can also make well-informed decisions about purchasing new equipment or livestock. Buying more land or reducing expenses should also be considered carefully. Knowledge is power. Having the right information at your fingertips will help improve your operation. Thank you for watching today and be sure to check out our other videos in our egg series.